Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a crucial question for anyone working with Elasticsearch. Our viewer is trying to figure out how to decide the memory requirement for their Elasticsearch server. They have a substantial database of about 1.4 terabytes with a complex setup involving multiple shards and a growing daily data influx. With their current configuration, they're facing performance issues, especially when handling queries. So, how can they determine the right amount of RAM to ensure smooth operation and support multiple requests simultaneously? Let's dive in and explore this together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your questions, answering them, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you'll find that solution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. To determine the memory requirement for your Elasticsearch server, we need to consider several factors, including the size of your data, the number of shards, and the expected query load. Given that you have 32 gigabytes of RAM and have allocated 15 gigabytes to Elasticsearch, this may not be sufficient for your needs, especially with the expected daily increase of 30 gigabytes. To handle at least 50 simultaneous requests, a common rule of thumb is to allocate 50% of your total RAM to Elasticsearch. With your planned upgrade to 128 gigabytes, this would mean allocating around 64 gigabytes. You can also use tools like the Elasticsearch Memory Calculator to analyze your requirements based on your data and query patterns. This tool can help you fine tune your memory settings. Finally, consider monitoring your server's performance after making these changes. Adjust the memory allocation as needed based on the actual load and performance metrics. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To determine the memory requirement for your Elasticsearch server, aim for multiple nodes to maintain efficiency. The ideal memory per node is 64 gigabytes, with 32 gigabytes allocated for Elasticsearch itself. For more detailed guidance, check out the official Elasticsearch hardware documentation. It's a valuable resource, especially if you're using Elasticsearch for serious applications. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To decide the memory requirement for your Elasticsearch server, a good rule of thumb is to allocate 10 to 20 gigabytes of heap memory for every terabyte of data. This means you should aim for 20 to 40 gigabytes of total RAM per terabyte. There are two main types of memory to consider, JVM heap and OS cache. The OS cache is crucial for query-intensive applications, while the JVM heap is divided into static and transient memory. For query-intensive use cases, like e-commerce, aim to fit your entire index in the OS cache. For logs and time series data, you can manage with less cache, especially if using SSDs. Static memory is required even when idle, while transient memory depends on your query frequency and complexity. 
monitor your usage, and adjust as needed. It's a common myth to keep heap under 32 gigabytes. With Java 11 and G1GC, larger heaps can work well. Monitor your garbage collection to avoid issues. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To determine the memory requirement for your Elasticsearch server, it's essential to understand heap sizing and memory management. You can find detailed guidance on these topics in the official Elasticsearch documentation. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until next time, I hope you have a good day and see you then. Cheers.